and it calls this my dirt water. <laughs> Did you have fun yesterday swimming lessons? Daddy! 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 High five! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, I just woke up. It's about 7.20. Lately, I've been getting up at seven on the dot, or Harlow wakes up at like six, and then I'm like, no, we're not getting up at six. So she falls back asleep, and we <laughs> get up at seven. She's been actually sleeping until like 7.40 or eight. She's growing, uh, she's got five teeth coming in right now that I can see. So I think that's taking a little bit of a toll and like making her sleep longer when she actually falls asleep. But um, she's awake uh, in her crib right now. This guy has been my alarm clock lately. I have the sound on all night, of course. And then whenever she's like crying, I'm like, okay, it's time to get up. So I've been able to sleep until like 7.40, which has been oh, so amazing being 37 weeks pregnant, just pregnant in general. Um, she is playing with her dolls right now. That is so cute. Oh, she just laid down. So I'm basically just being a creep spying on her while I'm about to get some dishes done real quick. Today is like, you know, when I say like routine on this channel, it's like every day is totally different. Like I'm a first responder's wife. So is dad home? Is he not? Are we going to the station today? Like it is, it's just always kind of different. Um, so yeah, and sometimes I have a nanny and sometimes I don't. So um, right now, it being a Sunday, I do not. So today is just gonna be kind of like a normal routine, like me and Harlow at home all day. Um, and so there's some staples that I definitely do in the morning, which I will kind of go over and show you how I do those and whatever. But like, as far as like a routine, it changes all the time. But Nick's been on a, kind of a little bit of a crazy one. He was at work for a 72, um, and then he was off for 24 hours, and now he is back on a 48. Um, and at the end of the 48, uh, we'll see him tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, it's sometimes it can be a lot, especially with the whole household full of animals and just trying to like, and I only have one child right now. <laughs> can you imagine how this is gonna be with two of you guys, two under two? I'm gonna be losing my freaking mind. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna try and get these dishes done real quick and uh, then we'll get Harlow up. Typically what I do if Harlow gets up kind of when I get up, um, I have to have my kitchen clean. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not gonna lower my standards. I can do it all. I need my kitchen clean. I need both of these islands that you see right here, this one and this one, I need them clear and I need my sink clean and I'm not smelling like dirty dishes and I need my trash taken out. So um, this room on the other hand, whatever. But the kitchen has to be done and I have to start a little laundry as well. I just love my house to smell like laundry. So typically what I do is I'll put super simple songs on, plop her in front of the TV for a little bit while I get the dishes done and get the kitchen clean. And then I am ready to like do the damn thing. And normally I'd get up earlier before she gets up and do all of that so that I can spend time with her. But I'm freaking tired. Like I need to sleep right now. I'm pregnant as fuck and I just need to sleep. So um, super simple songs is the only thing that keeps my daughter like <laughs> glued to the TV. So if I ever need to get anything done or I'm pressed for something or someone comes to the door or the pool guy needs my help with something, like I have to like put that on. So that is my saving grace. If you guys haven't tried it, try it. Don't let anyone shame you about sticking your kid in front of the TV for a little bit before you get, when you get something, when you need to get something done because we're busy. Like we take on a lot as moms and like Sometimes you just can't be perfect. You know what I mean? You just gotta get your shit done. So you just do whatever works. Not only that, but Super Simple Songs actually teaches them some stuff. I'm pretty sure Super Simple Songs is one of the reasons why Harlow has such a great vocabulary right now, actually. So I'm not mad about it, but let's get some dishes done. baby thing that goes on the um, handle of the car seat for the new baby. It's super cute. I forgot her lunchbox in the diaper bag the other day, which is so sad because I've got like grapes in here and blueberries and things that cost like $57. Like this is $57 at the grocery store right now. And I just have to throw it in the trash. Oh, I hate that. And I got some copper nipple um, cups. 
I didn't try these when I breastfed Harlow and I desperately needed some, some sort of relief. So I hope these help. Oh wow, they're a lot smaller than I expected. Okay, I'll wash these in a second. Someone is now not happy in their crib anymore. Do you have your baby in there with you? You got your baby. Hi, beautiful. Should we open? Should we open your blinds? Open. Okay, let's open. 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 Whoa. Open. Hi, cuteness. Do you say hi to Bucky? Hi, Bucky. Hi, Bucky. You gonna bring your baby with you for the diaper change? You smell like a pee pee girl. A baby. Kitty, kitty. You see the kitty? Did the kitty come to say good morning? Hi, kitty. Mm. Okay, let's get your baba. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, those are my teeth. <gasps> Do Don't hit. Be gentle. Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Where's in my header, honey? Oh. Where's my nose? Deep. Where's my nose? You know nose, ears, Ew. nose, Ew. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> All done. Okay. Okay. Say hi. Hi. Want to see the baby? Let me turn the monitor around. <gasps> you see the baby? Hmm. Okay. Just opened her window. I've got the attic fan on because it has been in the triple digits and 90s here. So I've got kind of like, come on baby, the attic fan on and it's just sucking the cool air in and then like around like nine or something, I'm gonna close all the windows and set the AC to 75. Um, and that is how we try and keep it cool in here. We've got a quiet, cool attic fan. It is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> like if your baby has like a total mess of a diaper and stinks up an entire room, all you do is open the window a crack, turn on your attic fan and it sucks all the air out of that room and pulls all the outside air in. It's wonderful. Come join me. I washed this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and start hydrating right now before I make any coffee at all. I try and drink like some water and then like throughout the hour or whatever and then I get my coffee going. And it calls this my dirt water. <laughs> he does, he's not a fan of the Brita. I'm a big fan. Any other Brita fans? Or am I alone? Agua? Agua? Oh, you are, she's been really into her Barbies the past couple days. Agua! You got your Barbies? Barbie! Barbie! Good job! Barbie. Barbie! Unloading a bunch of delicious treats from our bag. Another great thing about these guys is they're non-perishable, once you know, unless they've been opened. So these have been great because I always forget to put like things from my diaper bag back to the fridge. So thanks to BeachNet for sending us a bunch of these. They sent Harlow a really, really nice sample pack. So these can go back in the fridge and not in the trash. I don't know if they really fit in there, but hey, it works. You want them out? Say, mama, help. Help, please. You don't have to get frustrated. Just say, mama, help, I'll help. Okay, she's out. Up. She's out, there we go. Say thank you. Out. Yeah, they're out, say thank you. You want them in? Hey. Put them back in there? Okay, now you try the other one. 
put the other one in there. Here, let's put our legs through the window. See? There we go. Want some breakfast? You say it? Watch my mouth. Oatmeal. 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 You say? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Good job. You guys ready to see the most couch potato couch potato you've ever seen? This is it, right here. But this is how we get no screaming while mama makes breakfast. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how are you feeling? Good. Nice. I am vlogging today, so say hello. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? Yes, thank you. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm just making us some breakfast. So, um, uh, how's Panchita in her mouth? Good. She has so many teeth coming in right now. Let me set you down while I cut this banana. She has like, she has three molars coming in and then two teeth on either side. Like her eye teeth are both coming in on both sides too. Come here. Come say hi to daddy. Hey daddy. Hi. I paused the TV and she's still staring at it. Like, okay, when's it going to come off pause? <laughs> We're not going tonight. We're gonna have breakfast. I know. <gasps> Look at Daddy's face. Say hi. She, she's she's really hungry. I pulled over on the side of the road yesterday and bought 20 avocados for five dollars, and it's because they're tiny, but they're really good. It's time to rip one. She's starting to lose it. Okay, there we go. It's like the race to like get the food on the thing. And then we've got this stupid commercial ruining my piece over here. All right, honey, you ready? Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. Okay, oh my gosh, I forgot to cut up the avocado. <laughs> Are you about to reach up there and grab it? Hey, you gotta eat with mama. Good job. We're gonna turn this off while we eat breakfast together. I'm sorry, baby. Good job. Mmm. A banana. A banana. Where did your bib go? Oh, there it is. Did you have fun yesterday? Swimming lessons? Daddy. 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 Oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> mm. It's still too hot. If you have those moments at night where your child is just like not going to bed, even though you like put them to bed late and like let them stay up a little bit, that was last night. And you're like, okay, this is me time now. Like go to sleep. <laughs> that was me last night. I like had a long day and I just like couldn't wait to put my feet up. And Harlow was just like not having it. And I put her to bed at like 7.45 for bedtime seven. And I just, she was like not having it. I was just like getting so frustrated. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is, this is my time now, my time. Cause I go to bed pretty early right now. I'm like so tired and I was like so frustrated trying to just like relax, but Anyways, it finally happened. I just had to give her two bottles. Let's brush our teeth. You tired, huh? Time for a nap. Okay, let's get your teeth. Come on, baby. <laughs> you clapping? Good job. Good job. Wanted to share a little parent hack with you guys. So
So if your kids are teething, a friend of mine shared this with me, give them a little toothbrush, preferably like a kid's one that's not so long. Um, but put a little bit of Aura Gel on the tip and let them chew on it. It will help them um, break their teeth through the gums and it'll also numb their teeth a little bit. But she's being given a toothbrush after we brush and she can kind of practice. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, good job. So she can imitate. Oh yeah, no thanks. I don't want daddy's toothbrush in my mouth. Thank you though. Thanks for sharing. Good job. It is around 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this girl a warm bottle of ripple milk and then put her down for a nap. And then I've got some chores to take care of. I need to do something with my appearance today. Go, go. Oh shoot, go. she just took off. Go, Talk go. to the cleaner. Um, did you just stick your hand in the cleaner? Oh. Yeah, wanna nap? Nap, nap. Opie, opie. Yeah, you opened it, good job. Yeah, good job. Yeah. <laughs> Time for some supplements. My feet have, my feet and ankles have been getting a little bit swollen, so I've been taking this Bioplasma Cell Salts and my prenatal. So we're gonna take this, these two right now. This one, um, some midwives with my last pregnancy told me to take um, for like swelling and stuff. So it's been kind of random. Like some days I'll swell and like where my anklet is like tight. And then some days like, and these just dissolve in your mouth and they don't taste like anything. Um, and some days I don't swell at all. So it's funny cause um, <laughs> maybe it's cause my blood wasn't flowing and stuff. But like the one day that I really swelled kind of the most is when I was sitting on my ass editing all day. So I don't really know I don't, I don't know, but this seems to help. So I bought a towel holder for the bathroom. This is it. I don't know if this is gonna be too big. I did buy a two pack though, and there's only one here. So I don't know if the other one is like shipping separately, but I'm gonna put this together and see if it'll fit in our bathroom. Um, there are a couple goals that I have while Harlow is napping. They're pretty lofty. I'll share them with you in a minute and we'll see what we can get done. It's nice that the back side or like the bottom side of this is like soft so it won't scratch the floors. Love that. Love that for us. The floors. It's not going on the floors, the counters. You guys know what I meant. My brain, like the stuff I say, like I say nurse instead of gardener, or like, like my brain is just like, woo! And hopefully this works. Let's go try it out. All right. Oh, well, that's pretty good. It's like really wide though. I feel like it could have, I feel like it didn't really need to be that wide, but uh, let's see if it fits on the other side too. I mean, it's pretty pretty big, but maybe we can see. I was thinking I would put like the toothbrush holder in the center here and soap, and we can share, and then just a towel holder on each side. Marlo went down so well. Like I need to look at the monitor, but she didn't cry at all. She's like already down. Okay, so let's go over our to-do list. Number one, I am selling this thing on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's over there right now. I'm gonna wheel that into the garage. Actually, let, let's start from the top because I feel like I already got a lot done today. Number one, I had somebody come over and grab some of my, I have an animal channel, so I like breed roaches and stuff like that. I know it's gross, ew. But um, <laughs> he came over and grabbed a bunch of those, took my hiss hissing roaches, because I'm trying to simplify right now before I have this baby, and I didn't need another thing to take care of. So took my Madagascar hissing roaches, brought me some, he owns a pet store, in the area brought me some frozen rats so we sold the roaches we are selling this thing right here um can't really check that off quite yet but um then i need to clean and start moving my things into the bathroom now that it's finished and then my other to do's are i would love to film my timu um video i spent a hundred dollars on timu i bought 
so much different stuff for baby, for me, for Harlow, like house stuff. Like, so I'm gonna go through that and I'm hoping to film that today. We'll see how long her nap is. One thing that I really need to do is this. This room out here is an absolute disaster. So let me just show you. <laughs> um, so this eventually, these walls are getting torn out, but currently it's turned into storage. This has to go back into my tortoise enclosure and I was drying it out and cleaning it. So that needs to go back into the tortoise enclosure. However, um, Harlow got out here with a dustpan and just made a mess of this. This I need to cut and cover and we're putting it behind the couch so that the dog has another nice little getaway area to get away from Harlow, the animals, the other animals, whatever, and put that behind the couch so that she has a nice spot to hang out. So I need to sweep in here and get this back in his enclosure. So I think I'm gonna start with that because every time I walk out here, all this stuff just gets stuck to my feet and it's kind of a pain. So let's work on this. I lied actually, this chick's gonna be here really soon. Let me wheel this out into the garage so that she can easily, we can easily get it into her car. by the front of the garage. All I have to do is open the garage and load it into her car with her. In case you guys were wondering, this retractable gate right here is how I prevent Harlow from crawling into the garage. It's been working great. She's here to pick up the piece of furniture I've got. So opening the gate now. Yes, she's so out, I love it. Okay sweep the room. My goodness. Bali makes it cooler in my opinion. <laughs> I've been to Bali and it's very cool. So uh lucky. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Well enjoy. I'll have a good rest of Sunday. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Alright, recap. Got rid of the roaches in the morning. Sold the piece of furniture on Facebook Marketplace. Good to go. Cleaned the sunroom out with all of the crap that was on the ground. Unexpected one, I had to clean cat shit out of my office because she was locked in there. Harlow's not allowed in there, so I have to keep the door closed and she refuses to come out when I tell her to. So she got locked in there and crapped on my carpet. Just cleaned that up. We're gonna get in the pool. Huh, we're gonna get in the pool? I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Um, we got a fence around our pool with a super nifty door to get in. So now my child is safe. My dog can't get in the pool whenever she feels like it. It is super awesome. A huge shout out to Lifesaver Pool Fence for putting this in for us. This is like, just like peace of mind is literally so like priceless. And the fact that like Harlow could potentially wander outside right now and not be in danger of drown drowning is like, just like, oh, I just can't even, I can't even tell you how good it feels. So I just wanna show you guys how rad this is. <laughs> Around the entire pool and then we can open it right here. And it's actually really, really easy to, um, with two hands. It's really, really easy to pull this out of here too for times that we're having a party or whatever. Um, so I'll leave all their information below for you guys. There is a local one in San Diego or a local um, branch in San Diego you can check out. But we're about to get in the pool. We might try and do some practicing in the jacuzzi. We did some swim lessons yesterday, so we might practice those. Well, this might be hot. Let's cool this off here. Yippee! One, two, three! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> One, two, three! Good job! Yeah. yeah, don't sit on that. Don't sit on that, sweetie. This is glass. Okay? You gotta be gentle. Oh, 
Row, 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 your boat gently down the stream. You ready to go out to the garden? Let's go! Let's go, go! Oh. Oh. Look at all this. Oh, we got a tomato over here that's almost ripe. You want one of the flowers? Ah. Here, just don't eat it, okay? So cute. We've got some pretty cool cucumbers growing back here. I think it might be time to pick this one off here. And then we've got um, pickling cucumbers. Have you ever seen such a fat cucumber? <laughs> Look at that thing. See that? Holy hell. Let's go this way. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so I just put Harlow down. We're a little early because she didn't really get much of a nap today, so, and she's acting very tired. So she's down, uh, hopefully she stays down, and I just ordered some DoorDash. I am starving and I have nothing to eat here. I was gonna go to the grocery store today, thinking about it anyways, and that did not happen. Oh, it smells so freaking good. This is the, the way laundry smells is the only reason I do laundry. I don't know what else I'm going to complete for the evening. I don't really want to move anything into my bathroom because I don't want to wake her up. Um, so I may just chill on the couch. I always say that and then I don't, so we'll see. <laughs> oh no, she's already crying. We're gonna give it a little bit. I have had almost no time to myself the last few days and I'm kind of like feeling it. I really, I really would love some me time. So I think I'm gonna take that this week and have some me time. I do have a hair appointment and a nail appointment this week, so that'll be good. But, oh yeah. I think I'm just gonna get off my feet for a second. My feet are killing me. I'm gonna go turn the dryer off before it makes that noise again. And uh, yeah. I'm excited for DoorDash to get here. I think this vlog has been all over the place because pregnancy brain and very long. So I'm going to cut it off here and eat my dinner in peace and just watch some 90 Day Fiance and probably just crawl into bed. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe that's on the agenda. I see that in my future. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day and we will see you in the next one. Bye.